Welcome to my video on using the Favorites folder in Safari on the iPad. The Favorites folder is a special place within Safari's bookmarks that allows you to easily access your most frequently visited websites. When you add a bookmark to your favorites, it will show up in Safari's start page as an example, giving you easy access to your favorite websites. In this video, I'm going to show you where you can find this favorites folder, as well as how you can access it from Safari's start page and how you can add it to Safari's toolbar. We'll also look at how you can change it to a different folder within your bookmarks, how you can change what bookmarks it is showing. Let's go ahead and take a look at how favorites work with Safari on the iPad. Now before we get started, I first want to mention that I am using iPad OS 17 here. But that doesn't mean that this feature is an iPad OS 17 exclusive. This has been around for several years, the favorites bar. So even though you may not be using iPad OS 17, you can still use these same features. All right, with that out of the way, let's see how this works. Let's first take a look at where you find this favorites bookmark. The first thing that we need to do is we need to open up Safari. This is a Safari feature. So I open up Safari. And now what we need to do is we need to go over to our sidebar. We have to show our bookmarks. And that is within our sidebar here. So I tap on the sidebar button. And then down towards the bottom, what you're going to see is bookmarks. Now within bookmarks, we have a special folder called favorites. This is where we can save our favorite websites. And then we have easy access to them from the start page or even directly from Safari's toolbar. Now this is just a standard bookmarks folder. So when I click on this, you're going to see that I have a few different websites in here and I have some folders in here. If I want to manage this, all I have to do is just go down to edit here, just like I'm going to edit my bookmarks because this is bookmarks. I click on edit. And then from here, I'm able to move them around. I can create a new folder and I can remove them. To add a page to this favorites, we just add it to our bookmarks. So let's go ahead and go back here. We're gonna close the sidebar. Let's first look at how we add a web page to this favorites. I'm going to go to Wikipedia. I wanna add this. All I need to do is just go up to the share icon and I wanna share this web page I can add it directly to my favorites. This is the way that you want to do it. Makes it quick and easy. So I just click on add to favorites and now I click on save and that web page has been added to my favorites. Now let's say I wanted to access these folders from my start page. How do I do that? Well let's close our sidebar. What I'm going to do is just open up a new web page here. And you're gonna see that it opens up to Safari Start Page. And within Safari Start Page, what we have is our favorites. Now, if this is not showing, what you're able to do is edit this, and what you may need to do is show your favorites here. We can add and remove this from our Start Page. So I'm going to close this. And again, we have my favorites, and here is the Wikipedia that I just added. I also have my folders in here and I can access any one of these websites just by clicking on it. Now that's an easy way to access it from the start page, but let's say you're on a page. Let's go over to Wikipedia. Now what I would like to do is access another page from my favorites. Now instead of opening up a new web page, wouldn't it be great if we could access it from Safari's toolbar here? Well, we can easily do that. The only thing we need to do is add our favorites to the toolbar. So how do we do that? Well, basically all we have to do is just go over to our settings. We're gonna to go to our Safari settings. And then from here, we go over to Safari. And what you're going to see here are a few different options for our favorites. You're gonna see show favorites bar. That's the first thing we're gonna look at. All I have to do is just tap on the slider here to turn it on. And when I go back over to Safari, you're gonna see I have a toolbar here. And here are all of my favorites. So now, even though I'm on a different web page, what I'm able to do is access any one of my favorites here. Now I'm going to show you a little trick here. We know that we can just click on these to take us to that web page. 
But in addition to that, what we're also able to do is long press on it. Let's go over to Wikipedia here. And when I long press on it, I have the option to open this up in a new tab. And then what it'll do is it'll keep my current web page open and open up this page in a new tab. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we can see that it kept Bing open. And then it also opened up Wikipedia. Now let's take a look at a few more settings that we have with favorites. Let's go back over to my settings. So I go back over to settings here. We look at Safari. And the first thing we're going to look at is how we can show the icons in the favorites bar. When you are looking at a website, there's something that's called a favicon. And this is some logo that shows next to the web page. So CNN will have their little logo to it. I have a logo for my site. Wikipedia has the W. What we're able to do is show those icons in the favorites bar. Let's go back over to Safari. And you're going to see in my toolbar here, I do not have any logos. Well, when I add those favicons in there, it's going to give us a visual indicator of what site we're looking at. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And now when we go back over to Safari, you're going to see that we have logos here. So I like to have that on. And then the last thing I want to show you is how you can change what folder that favorites folder is pointed to. So what we need to do is go back over to our settings app and then we go over to Safari and then what you're going to see here is favorites. And by default, this is going to point to your favorites folder. Tap on this, I can select another folder. So if I select a demo here, it would all change to everything that is in my demo folder. It wouldn't show anything that is in my favorites folder. I generally don't like to change that, but if you did want to change it to a different folder, maybe you have a number of bookmarks in a different folder, you can easily change what your favorites folder is pointed to. So that is how we work with our favorites, including how we access them from our start pages, as well as add them to our toolbar in Safari on the iPad.